Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your Divine Masculine reading. We're going to be looking at what your DM is thinking and feeling and what is going on with them, where they're at currently. So I'll use a couple of decks. I um, really appreciate you being here with me. It really does mean a lot. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, if you are after a private reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, let's see what's coming up. Overall energy. Okay. So, overall energy, Eight of Wands, the only card that's upright is the Eight of Wands. Um, but in this instance, you can see it's the Witches on the Broomstick. Okay, so straight away I feel like there's a DM who is being paranoid or jealous because of things that they may be hearing about you or hear, hearing things through mutual friends maybe. Eight of Wands can be like communication, but I feel like there's overall energies indicating that they are feeling unsure about something that's happening around you and they're starting to feel jealous um, or something of this nature here. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Cups reversed and the Seven of Wands um, also reversed. Normally upright, this is a card of being resistant, but it's reversed. So this person is hearing something about you, this DM is hearing something about you, but like they can't act on their emotions Maybe you guys have broken up. Maybe they lied to you and said, okay, this isn't a problem. I'll be fine. It's all good. I don't have an issue with this. But maybe really underneath there is there is some sort of issue um, that's coming up in the cards. So maybe underneath it all, there is something here um, that maybe still links this person to you. Okay, the Queen of Cups, they're trying not to show emotion and I think maybe this is more for those that aren't with this person anymore. So there's a DM who might be missing you. It could be an ex or someone from your past. You guys are no longer a thing. Um, like physically, you ha you're not connected. You haven't seen each other in a while. Um, you don't have that label of being in an exclusive relationship. So therefore, they can't. They feel like they can't say something to you because they're no longer your partner. Okay, so they're no longer in your life. They no longer technically shouldn't have a problem with this, maybe, but they do. Um, let's see what else comes up. So they shouldn't really care about what's happening, but they do on at least some level. They do care. They are phased by it. Okay, Ten of Swords. They feel betrayed. Or they're replaying something, uh, a hurtful conversation or um, a thought pattern. Okay, we have Aries energy. Um, Aries is, is fire energy. We also have the King of Wands. So this could be a fire sign. Uh, if not, it can indicate that this person is feeling fire energy. So they're very, um, they're on edge right now where they're at. Okay, so they're on edge, they're not feeling comfortable, they're not feeling themselves, um, and I feel like something has maybe angered them, or has made them feel a certain way about you, and you know, they're hurt by it, there's something that they're hurt by. The Knight of Cups does show that eventually this person may tell you what's bothering them, um, but I think for now they're trying to just play it cool and show that they're not affected, um, by what's going on, but I think, I, I feel on some level they are affected more than they're letting on, because let's look at the magician. The magician is the trickster, um, how he feels and what he thinks. He doesn't always reveal. He's got secrets. He's good at manipulating the way he comes across. He's good at acting happy and dazzling everyone. But underneath it all, there could be a lot of different emotion than what you're actually seeing and what you're actually getting, um, Divine Feminine, okay? King of Wands, they may be looking for love elsewhere, like King of Wands is a bit of a flirt, so they may be flirting around with other people. Um, and maybe, you know, they're engaging in online connections or revisiting a connection they once had. 
but it doesn't mean that there is emotion that isn't linked to you because they're they're still hurt and obviously if they're hurt or betrayed that does show that they're still in the early stages of grief or in the early stages of processing something right so they may try to cover up that hurt and appear a certain way but underneath it all they're probably still quite tender as the knight of cups would suggest so yeah they're they're going through a bit of a funk themselves five of wands king of cups reverse they're trying to fight their feelings um, there could be a new connection around them coming up as the Empress. This is reversed, which, which would indicate if this person is talking to someone new, this person may not necessarily compare to you. Okay, they might not be as attractive. They might not be as caring, as loving, as attentive. So, you know, if they if they are attracted to this new connection, because the Empress is like that attraction. So if you have someone here in your past who's sort of flirting around and trying to move on because you guys are no longer together and this person's flying solo so they're getting a, a a taste of single life and I feel like for a lot of you this dm is realizing that single life is not what it's cracked up to be okay it's not bringing in as much romance as they thought this is what the empress brings in she brings up like intimate moments and being playful with each other and being loving and having each other and she's reversed so this person might have thought they would have gotten something better or single life would have been so much better than the connection you had. But in actuality, they're not getting the love. King of Cups, they're not attaching to this new person, maybe. Um, okay, they're not feeling the love or maybe they're not ready to love yet, especially because they're in that Ten of Swords. They've still got to deal with this pain or trauma. And until they do that, they're always going to be in that. You know, they won't be able to offer themselves emotionally to this person, this new person. And they'll probably get that, you know, if this is a different divine feminine that's connecting with your DM, connecting with your man or your would-be man or the man that you had in your life, it could be that she's starting to feel in reverse because she's picking up on these cues. Divine feminine energy is very intuitive and the Empress is like that. She's the Mother Earth goddess. She's the use your maternal intuition um, energy. And it could be like this new girl or this new divine feminine is catching on and realizing that that this this guy that she's talking to, this your guy maybe, is not, or your ex or, you know, is not what it's cracked up to be, okay? Um, and she's noticing there's tension with the five of wands. Could also be jealousy. Again, if, you're, if your DM is jealous about something about you, as I said, with the eight of wands, something that they've heard about you, Maybe they heard you're going out. Maybe they've heard you've met someone. They've heard you're doing well. Um, it's creating this tense energy. And then they're using that tense energy. And then they ended up maybe taking it out on that new person they're talking to. So now the new person is put off. And, you know, it's just the cycle of karma, isn't it? Um, but I think it all centers back. But if someone's, because they're coming up with so many reversals here, I think overall energy is showing they're not ready in a lot of ways they're not putting up resistance to you why you guys parted though. So like this DM may not be messaging you or calling you or, you know, um, where, are, where are you at? What are you doing? Let's, let's talk. Let's connect. You know, they may not be in this energy where they want to do that. They're not fighting for your connection yet. They don't want to let you go entirely. And, you know, DM can't have their cake and eat it too. It doesn't work that way. And sometimes some people need to learn the hard way. Maybe that's the lesson here for this person. Okay, Six of Cups. This is the Lovers reversed. Eight of Pentacles. They're not putting in much effort to this new person or this new connection, or they may not even be putting old reversals. They may not be putting as much effort for this new connection. So if they're seeing someone new, or maybe they're even talking, they're not putting in as much attention because they're not focused on love. It's more, uh, it's more like a distraction more than anything else. Maybe they're not ready for a new relationship. Eight of Pentacles is like putting in the hard yard. It's reversed, though. They're not making much effort. Um, now, that's if they have that side relationship or they're sort of seeing someone new. Even if they're single, they may not be making much effort. Like maybe they're not working out as much or, you know, they're not trying to better themselves. They're not trying to learn where they went wrong in the relationship or what their mistakes were or what they could have done differently, what they could have done better. It may be a bit of a blame game here that it's more on you still. 
So they are maybe not doing as much work as you, as much transformation. You might uh, might be doing more and this person might be doing less. Um, and that's what's coming up. Seven of Cups reversed. They're unsure about their feelings. They're unsure about how they feel. They're unsure about the betrayal. And, you know, if there was a betrayal like cheating or anything, that's coming up strongly. It's just stabbed in the back. So I don't know if Divine Masculine feels like they were betrayed in some way by you. Um, or they felt cheated or manipulated by you. And if this is how they feel towards you, if we take out the, if we extract the divine feminine card so let's look at let's extract the water cards water and we have so we have king of cups reverse knight of cups upright seven of cups and queen of cups this is how they feel towards divine femme now you as you're watching this Queen of Cups reversed, they maybe think you're emotionally unavailable or imbalanced for them right now. They may have gotten mixed vibes about you or they may have thought you weren't as invested in them and that's hurt them deeply. Um, they've tried to push their feelings to their subconscious towards you, but the Knight of Cups still indicates they feel a bit lost. This is the only cup card that's coming up upright and look at the imagery. He's like, or like walking around this desert riding around in this desert. So this is feeling lost and without direction. So if this is how they're feeling about you or they think of you, it could be that they're thinking you don't have direction emotionally. So maybe before you guys parted ways or in the recent past, you didn't tell your real feelings maybe, Divine Femme, and then that's got them confused and betrayed at the one time. So there's, I want to be drawn, I keep being drawn back to that five of ones. Let's clarify that five of ones. There's so much dysfunction in that. Um, yeah, there's so much dysfunction in that. Possibly wanted to give things another go, but it didn't work out like you guys had planned. Possibly other people that came into the picture here. Again, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Things were very back and forth and this person wasn't happy. One day things were high, you guys were having an amazing time and then next minute things were just turned badly. And I think it's that fluctuating energy that Pisces brings. Pisces, okay, the fish. Um, had this person in the reversal. They didn't want to give things another go again. Um so the dis dysfunction, the fighting could have been either about a new start or a new person. Um, King of Wands um, might be how much time you guys actually ended up spending together. Maybe one of you wanted to spend more time with the other. Either way, it caused fights and friction. And that's what this is about. That's why this person is still tense. You know, Divine Femme, maybe you're seeing someone new and you're better in this new relationship. And you've learned all the lessons you have with this previous DM and now they're starting to see that maybe they're catching on on social media they see that you've changed you've grown and now they're suddenly like well why weren't they like that with me or you know but sometimes we have to learn these lessons and people come into our lives for these lessons as, as a chapter or maybe the whole book you know sometimes people are a page sometimes they're a chapter sometimes they're the whole book and I think in this instance this was a major learning curve for a lot of you this this connection or this relationship and that's where that dysfunction um, is going is is coming from let's have a look at what's coming up in the near future between you and this divine masculine Okay, there's possibility to be friends with this person again or to reconnect with them. The Six of Cups is here. Um, and this is like nostalgic messages or missing each other. 
So the near future could involve the two of you reconnecting and telling each other that you miss each other or revisiting some old memories, looking back on some old photos. This is about the past, so it can be a past life connection, an ex here. Definitely for those that have separated from their divine masculine, this is for you. Um, and the Six of Cups is like a sweetness. It's like a bittersweet, let's reminisce on the past. And you know, we all carry deep memories and emotions that attach to these memories, so that's absolutely normal. Um, so there's a revisitation of the past or a reconciliation with someone here for a lot of you in the near future. Nine of Pentacles is here, and this is fulfillment. This is a completion, but she's telling the parrot to, to, to be quiet. So again, you might keep that a secret. You might not say things to anyone. You might not want to speak too soon. You might keep it very secretive, very hush-hush, because you don't want other people to hear about what's happening in your relationship. But the Three of Wands can be a card of either travel um, or like thinking about the long-term future. So the, the Romance card, the Hierophant is reversed, and it can be about like a label. So the, the, the near future could indicate the two of you might not be back together in a relationship with the label. Um, Queen of Swords, uh, King of Swords is here, but it's reversed. It might not be that you're in constant contact. It could be just sporadic, like messages here and there every couple of weeks or every few months. And it's like, hey, how are you going? Remember we did this? Or it's like that good reminder text when they message you and they're like, oh, remember we did this? Or I listened to that song that we danced to? Or... Um, that boat ride that we had or um, that nice restaurant we love, you know, there's there's a message of that. And it, it could go on for a while because the Three of Wands is a card of like long term future, right? So even though this spread looked at the near future, what's nice to see is that somehow this person is still intertwined in your distant future and that maybe when you do reconnect on these like missing you moments, which you'll both feel, Six of Cups is water energy. It's about feelings. You'll both feel it. And as you reminisce about the past, you'll actually be somehow building a future together, whether you're aware of this or not. So I think that's very refreshing. What's the advice from the universe for Divine Femme right now? Okay, we've got the world card. It's to trust that things are open-ended and to trust that how things have happened right now are what needed to happen. The temperance is reversed. So um, there's something about dishonesty here, about something maybe you might have been dishonest about. This is coming up, something you weren't patient about. Now, a lot of you might have let your impatience or your anxiety get the better of you and it's sort of blew up a little bit. It, made, it caused tension in this relationship. And there's a message that the world card shows that this was a cycle, this cycle of impatience and I want to have this in the relationship and I need to have this and I want that. It, the world card can show that that cycle will subside and you'll actually enter into a more calmer um, way of looking at things and a more calmer cycle for yourself emotionally and that's going to help you move forward. Um, but the world card is about closure it can be about endings but also the cycle of things and with endings come new beginnings so there might be a renewal of some kind uh, in the cards here for a lot of you i will leave it at that though so thank you again everyone so so much for watching i do hope that has been helpful um, don't forget to like share and subscribe and hopefully we'll be in touch soon so thanks again and bye for now